Hi guys, Todd here. It's Monday. I flew in from uh, Stuttgart, Amsterdam, Edinburgh, Shed last night. Uh, it is now the afternoon. I have now unpacked everything I came home with and I am <sighs> wasted. <laughs> I'm so tired. I look, what an event. Um, I flew out on the Thursday and uh, on the Friday last week, it was Business to Business Day at the Hall of Vapes Stuttgart 2019. Now, I did a live walkthrough. There's a separate video up for that. Uh, once again, I apologize for it. it. It wasn't done extremely well, but it was just to give you an idea what the event was like at that time. As I said, it was quiet because it was business to business and that meant that, you know, Joe Public was not there. That was so that people could talk to one another and arrange deals and trade and all that kind of stuff. That is what that is all about. Some of these vape events, what happens is that Joe blogs, his dad and his budgie all sneak into the business to business event and, and it's not good for businesses. So that was why it was so quiet. A lot of the video you will see is I recorded on business to business days. So uh, it was bouncing uh, on the Saturday. I think they said 6,000 people went through uh, the doors in the first hour. And this was what it looked like outside. Hold on, feet! just insane. It was crazy. It really was crazy. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I will just, uh, I took quite a lot of video and I, I, I took quite a few videos, uh, quite a lot of video and quite a few video. Yeah, I'm tired. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Photos, videos, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll do a little segment with some video and photos and, um, and I'll be back in a jiffy.
honestly can't. I'm not really one of there's there's many there's vloggers. I'm not a vlogger. I've never been good at vlogging. It's not been my thing ever. Um, I can just tell you what my event was like, and and hopefully the the videos and the photos give you an idea of what my experience is. And, and my experience was that um, this was very good. This is very good. There were two halls. Okay, uh, basically you had a hardware. A uh, hardware hall with the modders gallery. So there was about 60 modders. I think it was about 60 modders there. And uh, to somebody like me, who's that's my hobby, um, it was just like a um, kid in a candy shop. <laughs> it, was, it was, oh my God. Um, and knowing a lot of these people over the years, uh, it was great catching up with them. The other hall was the juice hall. Um, now, there was juice and a little bit of hardware mixed in there as well. It, it was a mix and match across the two, but predominantly it was juice. And it was also a bit louder in the juice hall. There was a lot more vapour in the air. You had DJs and all the booths shouting at one another with their music. And it was, I'll be honest, it wasn't my kind of thing. So I didn't spend a lot of time in the juice hall. I kind of... I lived in the Modders Gallery and also going to the, the intake stand, you know, and you had the pipeline, smoker store, the, the, there were so many of them. Uh, but, um, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you another quick look. I think I've missed some photos out. I re I'm really sorry. I, I did take a lot of photos. What I also did was my, as I call it, my my f my fanny stick. Don't hang on. This this oh here it is. Uh, this thing. This is my fanny stick. Okay, because I feel like a fanny when I'm walking about with this in my hand. Um, uh, I managed to connect it up to my, my phone so that I pushed a button and it would start video and stop video and and I found out when I got home that half the time I got it the wrong way around. I was actually stopping and starting video so I got a lot of video and photos of my feet, strangely enough. Uh, so, so that wasn't so good. Where can I put, I should put this in the bin to be honest but uh, we'll keep going. So I apologise if your photo of uh, isn't in this. Uh, if I've missed you out, I'm really, really sorry. I'm not going to mention names. I say this every time because I am. Um, I would be. I would feel so bad if I missed you out. I missed you out. Uh, 
just to everybody that I bumped into and blethered, talked with, chewed the fat with, uh, thank you uh, for taking time out of your day to, to talk with me. Um, I will say that there are some names, I'll, I'll mention them because they're, they're, they're big names in the, in the industry. Um, I met Kent, Twisted Messies. Um, what a guy. I, seriously, I've, I've never seen him, met him, talked with him ever in the past. Uh, but he was a righteous dude. Uh, he, he was just well laid back and uh, I spent quite a bit of time talking with him about uh, about airflow. And uh, he did, if you haven't seen it, he did a great airflow video with um, just showing exactly what happens when you, you know, air goes into the chamber and um, and how it all works. It was really, really clever. Um, so I enjoyed talking to him about that. I, I also bumped into Bogan, whose photo I can't find. Um, and that's not so bad, actually, because I spent about half an hour, 45 minutes with Sam um, just chewing the fat. And uh, for a lot of that time, people were coming up and asking me to take photos of them and Sam. So I ended up holding his camera and his beer all the time, taking photos of him with his fans. It was really, really funny. I love stuff like that. It's 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 nice not to be recognised. I'm not saying that everybody watches my videos. I know they don't. I know my mum does and my dad. Uh, but that's all that matters. But um, it, it's nice just, you know, being flying under the radar sometimes. There's less expectations from you uh, because Sam couldn't walk two steps. I mean, he was just getting stopped all the time. Whereas people just go, right, hey, Todd, and that's it. And that suits me. I did go for a meal on ha, one evening. There was an evening where there was a meal where some of the guests went to this meal. There was um, Phil and Dimitri, and uh, there was lots of people there. Uh, there was uh, Dr. F. Arslinos, and 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 I'm I listen. I'm not an advocate. I'm not somebody that tells you what you should and shouldn't be doing when it comes to vaping. Uh, I just show off hardware. That's for me. That's my job. But a lot of the people that were at this event are are very vocal and passionate about what they in their areas of expertise, shall we say? And and I found it just sitting there, just just listening to these guys bumping their gums it was it was quite interesting and um and and as always <laughs> it happens every year um phil and dimitri just going off on one you could be you could be sitting in a seriously the most intense conversation about the most crucial things and that pair just go off like a couple of giggling school kids and just turn the conversation upside down and uh, I laughed a lot. I laughed a lot and I cried meatballs a lot and nobody will know what that means and we'll leave it that way but uh, that was really enjoyable also. As for the event, is is there anything that I, if I take aways from it? Uh, I don't know. There was lots of cues for food when it was busy. When it was really, really busy, I do know that uh, I did hear from some people they were saying they wished there was more food stalls and things like that. But um, there were quite a lot of food stalls. It was just there was so many people. Uh, the food was excellent that you could buy. I didn't think it was outrageously priced considering it was uh, a convention centre and you know how bad they can be but I didn't think it was as bad as say the UK price wise. Getting there transport links wise and whatnot that was pretty straightforward I mean it wasn't far from the airport there was masses of hotels. Uh, the actual staff I will say this um, I do know a lot of people behind the scenes that work this event and uh, once again, every year I've been there, I've seen the same faces time and time again, and they work so bloody hard at that thing. They just never stop. Francine and Ira, um, as always, um, obviously Ira being the main man behind the event is just, uh, 
I don't know how he does it. I, I, I wish I could run my life like he runs an event. It is incredible to behold. And uh, thank you, Ira, once again for, for bringing me over to the event. Uh, outside that, I, I would say the, the whole hall of juice, <laughs> the whole hall of juice, uh, it was loud. And I do wish that they just had one central music source. Um, you know, just music, the same music playing across that hall. I do like the separation of the halls. Uh, I didn't, I, I actually liked that. Uh, but, you know, you could stand in one spot and have four or five DJs from different booths just attacking your ears. There wasn't masses of people handing out flyers and stuff like Yes, when you went in the doors, there were people there. and But you get that at every event and that's a given now. But it wasn't OTT. Did I at any point think there's too much juice? There's not enough hardware. There's too much hardware. There's not enough juice. No. There was something there for everybody. There was free beer. There was free ice cream. There was, it was just... I remember these things for for years. I'm going off on a tangent here, but when I started doing reviewing and things like that, I never got into it to be known by people, to go to vape meets, to, to, to any of this stuff. For me, it's a hobby, it's fun. It's sitting in my shed with my dog in my spare time, just showing gear off. Uh, but once I got over my whole hang-ups with going to events, um, these are the things that will stay with me forever. And the Hall of Vape, uh, every single one I've been to has been, sticks with me. But the people that I met, especially in the Modders Gallery, um, and something, you know, a lot of people outside there as well. But uh, it, it, there is, a, for me, it may be different for other people, but I do get such a, a, a community vibe from it. And it's, it's great seeing modders, you know, modders are, are wandering about, speaking with other modders, you know, talking about where the industry's going, what's working, is it squonking, is it regulated, it's, it's, it's just, it's just such a good, great get together. Um, but I will say, there was a lot of discussion about squonking. Um, obviously, I'm an avid squonker, but uh, a lot of people were saying that squonking is going down and that regulated is coming back in heavy. And that is the, the way things are going just now. Uh, each to their own at the end of the day. But uh, I understand from a business perspective for a lot of these mod makers, they have to stay ahead of the curve. And um, yeah, it, it can be tough for a lot of them because they turn up with lots of squonkers and you can have the best squonkers under the world. But if everybody's going for regulated, you may struggle. And, and that was a, on a personal note, knowing a lot of mod makers and seeing a lot of their work, which is, is boutique handmade stuff. And, and it's just, it's maybe not as selling as well as some mass produced stuff because it's just, you know, fashions have changed and it's, it's, it's heartbreaking to see sometimes, but um, it's business at the end of the day, it is a business. I should really mention some of the stuff I came away with. I will just give you quick looks because uh, reviews will happen. Um, I met the friendly fri f <laughs> friendly fripper, friendly flipper. Um, you guys might know them from over in the states. They do a lot of accessories for billet boxes and things like that. Well, they're actually working on a mod of their own, and I've been playing with this this morning. Uh, it's actually in the style of a billet box, as in same shape and also it is using get out of there a borrow tank now this is a dna 61 uh, they're also doing a die codes one uh, but on the back you've got buttons there but it's an internal lipo internal battery uh, so it's it, it's about the same size as a billet box just a bit smaller uh, but It vapes much the same, depending what bridge you put in it. But uh, I'm going to be testing this for a wee while and I'll be giving them direct feedback. Uh, I am enjoying it. 
I'm just, is it any better than a billet box? I don't, I don't know yet. It's, it's just, I've only been using it for the past couple of hours. So still to make my mind up on this, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be the internal battery, the LiPo. Now it charges really, really quickly, but uh, yes, we'll get back to that. Uh, I did catch up with the uh, Smoker Store, Tayfun guys. I will pop this in here, an apology. Um, I made a mistake. Well, there was a, a lost in translation. <laughs> I did say that uh, during my quick look video review for it that I'd said it was 301 stainless steel. I was wrong, it's 304. Um, I did contact them and ask them though, but the conversation I think in German and English it just got a bit mixed up. Um, so, But it is 304 not 301 stainless steel. But uh, I got a, a, a more open draw positive pole for my one, so I'll be setting that up later on. Uh, I also bumped into the the guys from GSV, German Still Vapor, and I got this. This is their new Beastie. This is the new Beastie. This is what I took. I took this. I took this as uh, my mod, my elemental mod, 26650. But this is... Now, I love GSV Atties, uh, and one day I will own a mod from them. And, and this is a beast, uh, but it uses mesh. Uh, I'll show you this just now. Look, we've actually got mesh going on there. Now, mesh atties for me, uh, the thing I didn't like about them or haven't liked about them is the fact that you have to give them loads of power to get a decent vape out of them. Uh, this, um, I'm actually at 39 watts in this just now. And I've got that set down at quite a restricted draw. Uh, I can actually go down to, uh, I was down about 30, 25, 30 watts, whereas what I like to vape at. And uh, I can still get a really good vape from it, which is what I have been missing from Mesh Atties. Uh, this is a behemoth, this is a beast, this thing, and I, I'm really looking forward to showing it off to you at some point. Uh, I did get lots, There'll be reviews. There'll be many, many reviews coming. Um, I, I want to keep this short and about the event. Uh, but I should, actually, that's not fair. Hang on, is there anything else I should show you? There is. There's loads of stuff. No, I'm not I'm not going to make this a what I brought back from Hall of Vape video. Um, uh, but thank you to everybody that gave me something. And yes, reviews shall be coming f forthwith. Yes. Um, thank you to everybody that gave me toys for TJ. There was many toys brought back for TJ. And uh, I, I could gush. I could gush for... I could actually gush all day about the Hall of Vape because I had such a good time. Go. Just go. Um, it is no more expensive to go there than it is to go to an event in the UK. Flights, book in advance, they're cheap enough. Accommodation costs just the same as it does in the UK, but you should go as an international event. It is for me, it is the best one out there. I go to other ones that I enjoy. I do enjoy, but for me, the the pinnacle, the peak, the the champion is still the Hall of Vape. And I hope I see you there next year. I'm sorry, I'm all giddy and tired and and, and all over the shop, but uh, yeah, you should be used to that by now. Anyway. I'll catch up with you very soon. Bye for now.
Thank you.